How you doing guys? Welcome, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Welcome to my video. For this video, uh, well, this is my personal Christmas gift or at least being surrounded by these, which is silver and gold. Now, uh, unfortunately, these weren't gifted to me. I personally, you know, I, I wouldn't say bought them. I would say more of an investment. Um, they're precious metals, silver, gold. I'm not into platinum uh, for reason is platinum looks too much or too closely to silver and it's hard to distinguish between the two and especially as a uh, for monetary trade um, it's hard to convince somebody that it's uh, platinum and not silver uh, if you get what I mean uh, so but I just stick to uh, gold and silver now as far as in this past year of 2022 I did not get that much silver uh, you would think that uh, I would have uh, especially during the times when the price was dropping uh, below $18 an ounce uh, which it did happen but not it didn't last that long and when it did drop uh, let's just say sellers and dealers they did not go with you know whatever the spot price was reflecting they were still uh, selling them at high premiums which it's understandable um, I would say in the beginning of 2022 the spot price was pretty and you know I would say very high um, don't quote me on it but I think it was you know over 24 25 dollars an ounce at the beginning of 2022 so uh, you think about it most of them purchased their uh, stock uh, during that time and then um, or or even 2021 and 2021 prices uh, yeah I mean you know we recall seeing them at close to $30 an ounce so imagine them buying them at you know about $30 an ounce and then so they would be selling it to us about 35 to 40 dollars an ounce and they kept it that way throughout the entire year you know doesn't matter if uh, silver spot prices went down they just kept the premiums up to cover their costs like i said that's understandable so i did not get that much silver rounds um mostly i end up getting specialty rounds uh like uh this one right here you remember this i just posted this uh, a little bit ago but uh that one uh it did cost me a good high premium only because of its uh you know how many was minted uh especially that particular one was only 500 known to uh exist i mean to be minted in the world so i i'm not a stacker I'm a collector. Uh, that's what makes it different. That's why you see most of my uh, silver rounds and bullions and coins. They are inside, you know, slabs and protected. You know, they're pretty much protected. And uh, I, if you notice, I don't have any bars. Um, like I said, I'm a I'm a collector, I'm not a stacker, so even silver bars I don't have and I don't, uh, how do you call it, uh, I can't justify paying the high premiums just for uh, branded silver bars, you know, it, it would be cool or, you know, I think it would be just straightforward to say if I was to buy uh, 
silver uh, just for stacking. I would be looking for unbranded, unnamed, you know, bars and bullions. Uh, but since the bars and bullions are all, you know, stamped by a manufacturer and designed and everything, the, they add the premium cost to it. But I'm just blabbing away. Uh, as like I said, I didn't get that much silver in 2022 uh, besides the, the specialty rounds. Uh, it was weird that I was able to get gold um, pretty much, uh, I would say, easily uh, than silver, which was kind of odd. Uh, and especially going through uh, uh, my main market, which is eBay, um, I was able to snatch up some deals uh, with gold. You can see right there. This is a quarter ounce gold commemorative Liberty. Uh, thing about these, these are 90% gold. So it's not 9.99 or 0.999 gold. It's 0 0.90 gold, but it's still gold. Uh, Yeah, like I said, it was easier for me to get this, um, at least for the pricing wise. Uh, I have to tell you, some of them I did get below spot price. And um, I guess for me is, like I said, I'm a collector, but yet when I buy gold, I... Uh, put in the bidding price, um, you know, just about spot or under. And I believe during the time that I got these, they were, how do you say it? Um, the price of the market was fluctuating drastically as it, it was going down, going under, going down, going under. So in a way, it was, you know, how do you say it? Uh, justification of the seller and the buyer at the same time where, hey, let's just meet in the middle and see where it goes. And that's what happened with some of these gold coins where I put in a bid at that time, just under spot. For example, if the spot price was 1750, and the market was showing that it was constantly dropping, like say 17, 40, 17, uh, 20, 17, 15. So for me, my bidding price would be about, you know, 17, 15, uh, while, you know, keeping an eye on the market where it was going down, then going up. But what happened is as soon as the bid ended and then I actually won it, for example, 17, you know, at, at, uh, about 1715, but the market spot closed at 1765, 1750. So I actually got it under spot, but the unfortunate thing is living here in California and the United States, they charge sales tax, which was forced upon eBay several years ago, which they force, you know, taxation on every transaction. And you know, that 17, 15 turned out to be about 1900. So, you know, it's, Hey, I got it under spot, but unfortunately tax took it way over, you know, so, but that's the way it goes, you know, now what you see right in front of you here is grams. These are little gram coins 
you can see how tiny they are compared to a quarter ounce. That is very tiny. And with gold, I would say the smaller they are, uh, like say one gram compared to uh, one tenth of an ounce, which is 3.1 grams, the more the premium cost for them. So these, I did pay a high premium for them, but I thought it was just cool. Um, I know I was bidding on them and actually got this one for less than this one. And this one happens to be the latest bid, you know, so I figure, hey, uh, it's cool. I end up with two paying a little bit more for this. But I'm just mumbling and babbling away. Uh, this is my, I guess, uh, Christmas video. So, you know, just something to uh, think about. Alright guys, thanks for watching, peace.